Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for stopping by at the channel. Man, this is such an exciting day because finally we are going to lay our base clear on our Dodge Ram, the Cummins that we're building here on the channel. One disclaimer, do not hate me for the color that I chose. I'm sticking with it. I'm gonna stick with my guns on this one. I think you're gonna like it. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this video. Stay tuned. guys so it's like day four I'm just killing myself man I want to make this thing look perfect but I just don't have it I'm literally watching YouTube videos trying to learn how to perfect the Bondo the body filler how to smoothen it over how to make it straight um, like I said it's like day four so I'm killing myself I need to stop this bed is so jacked up I'll never make it perfect let's talk about some good news here you guys probably don't really care but I do uh, it's like 23 degrees outside during those four days it's passed, look what I got guys. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is a heat exchanger that is fed off of my wood boiler outside. I burn wood outside in a stove, and basically what it does is it sends that hot water that's been boiled right up into these pipes and it circulates right to this radiator, if you will, and there's a big old fan right in the back that blows, and dude, it blows, man. It blows nice and hot. I have a little thermostat ran right here and a speed control which is pretty cool. Alright guys, not trying to bore you, but uh, I'm pretty pumped about that because I've never had heat in my shop ever like this before. Never. So, finally, man, I'm not going to be cold in this garage anymore. This is going to be great. Alright, let me show you what I've done so far because... Alright, here we go. Check it out. Okay, so it's done. Okay, it's done with the base clear. I have two coats down on it right now. I do not have the clear coat over it. Once we put the clear coat over it, though, it's going to look amazing. Um, I fixed the little dings and dents. Let me show you. So, like, basically on this door right here, body filler, lots of body filler. I smoothened that down. I had a lot of little dings. I had a nice, good one, right? Ooh, never mind. See, I'm missing stuff. I'm missing all kinds of stuff, but I don't care at this point. I'm done, all right? This, this cab actually looks really good. I had a nice low spot right here. I filled in with body filler. Couldn't get it perfect. I shaved it back down. Put more on it, shaved it down. But here it is guys, this is called Cobalt Blue Pearl. I wanted to make sure that there was a little bit of a pearl to it, so once we gloss over it, it's just gonna look nice and shiny, so. All right, I got the tailgate right here, and I think I talked to you guys already about this back here. Oh, by the way, I may have already documented that on this video, but I gotta say, I mean, it may not look good to some of you perfectionists, but it looks good to me. I know we have a little bit of a bulge there, but uh, this, bed is actually buckled so I'm not gonna sit here and reinvent the wheel it's a dump bed I'm dumping wood it is what it is I talked about we have the fourth gen bumper it's chrome right here I think I may have already talked about that um, went ahead and paint matched the plastic I went ahead and prepped that so we don't get any of that nice blue on the chrome itself so this is gonna look really good so at this point let's go ahead and lay down our clear get that clear dry and we are good to go so let's get to work here it is guys the dumpster Cummins is finally painted I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep, take a shower. I'm all sticky. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and pull it out of the garage and show you guys what it looks like actually in the sun. But man, it looks so much better with clear coat, doesn't it? It doesn't look so dull. But I have two coats of clear coat. I think I'm about a gallon and a half right now. Um, I think we're good. I'm gonna have to do a lot of wet sanding because there was a couple spots where it actually dripped. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go that route, but it's not perfect, guys. If you saw this in person, um, you're gonna pick it apart. But, you know, for the most part, by looking at it, it looks straight, it looks good. I'm happy with it. I'm glad it's over, for the most part. But check this out, guys, look at this. I, again, I, I'm too impatient. I'll show you guys tomorrow, once we get back to this video. But the underside of this bed looks incredible. This is the back of the cab. It looks beautiful, man. I love it. Looks sharp, doesn't it? Again, guys, I'm tired. I'm going to go ahead and get some sleep, and we'll get to the next day. Okay, guys, we are back, and she's standing by the heater. My hair is It is a little noisy, but I'd rather, I, but I'd trade off noisy for uh, being freezing cold in here. So, okay, 
back on topic. The Dodge is done. Now I do have to wet sand it. Lots of dust nibs. I'm not going to be crazy about that here in this video. I'm going to do that some other time because this is taking me a tremendous amount of time. Let's just get to the point here. Let's go ahead and peel the tape off for the first time. I need to clean up my garage because it's completely trashed. I can't even walk in here. Uh, lots of sandpaper, lots of waste of money of things that I did that uh, didn't turn out well, so I had to keep redoing it. We're gonna go ahead and put the Sweet Anthem wheels on there, 33s, in the Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors. Oh yeah. Man, that windshield is dirty. Let's, uh, let's get this fourth gen bumper on there. Check it out guys, look at this thing. Looking good, huh? After I cleaned up the garage. Yeah, buddy. But hey, the good thing is, is that we didn't get our white walls blue, right? So them two by fours and all that plastic really protected the inside of this garage. We are going to put the nice chrome fourth gen bumper on. This thing came off, I believe a 2012 Ram. Could be wrong, but it's really clean. It's really, really nice, it's rust free. I paid 300 bucks for it, and I'm really glad that I painted that plastic. And some of you guys are probably gonna say, you should have done the chrome too, but there's a reason why I'm keeping the chrome. So, all right, let's get going. What? She's staring at the truck. Um, thinking about cleaning the windows. Yeah, these windows are nasty. They're really dusty. Man, you guys let me know in the comments what you think about this color with the red frame. And you know, we are gonna have to pull it outside but I think you guys get a general idea. I like it with the red frame. Look at that. That's the red frame. That's International Harvester Red on a pearl blue. I think if we sprinkle some white in there somewhere, it'll look really cool. Red, white, and blue. Like you said, uh, white traction bars maybe? White traction bars. That would actually be really cool, man. You know, just a nice white bar going from underneath there to connect to the frame from the axle. I think that would be a really nice touch. You know, really not too sure though, honestly. You guys let me know in the comments if we should add some white to the truck, or would that be a little too crazy? And no offense to some of you guys in the comments, but me playing out red, white, and blue on my trucks, I don't think that's playing it out at all. It's on there temporarily, okay? I kind of sort of have it hung on there. So I need the fourth gen brackets. Actually, it's a conversion kit online. I just looked it up on the internet. I was told that this is pretty much plug and play by somebody and that's exactly why I thought that I could just put this thing on and bolt it down, but it didn't work like that. I'm gonna need conversion brackets for it, but either way, it's on there. Wow, man, it looks amazing. The wife had to step out because I was spending too much time on my cell phone trying to figure out how to get this thing on there the correct way. If you have a truck like this and you're wondering where these headlights came from, I'll leave a link in the description. I picked these up off Amazon, but I think they look pretty sharp. They have this LED strip right there, which I still have to wire up, so you won't see that here in this video, but I'll give you guys a good update on that. So now we are officially going to put this thing on the hoist, get the Anthem rims on it with the 33s or 12 and a half, and then, Let's go ahead and get these Boost Auto Parts. I cannot wait to see what these look like. Installing the Boost Auto Parts switchbacks, these are gonna look awesome. So, let me go ahead and get this thing on the hoist right now. Oh wow, how'd you do that? Is it tight? <laughs> Stop. I'll get it on there once we get the brackets. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it's just hung there for now. It's hung there good though. You're holding it? The zip ties? Yeah, sure, why not? They're pretty heavy, heavy duty. <laughs> Am I talking to Earl? <laughs> it's on there for now. I have to get some brackets for it, guys. Oh, we need to air this thing out here. Woo. All right, looks good though, right? Yeah, it's really good. Okay, let's get the wheels on in the mirrors. This is the easy stuff. So, you can do all the heavy lifting. Watch out for that bumper, it might fall off and hit you. It's okay guys. It's on there good, just don't breathe. Oops, I can't believe you did that. What? You only have two on here? Yeah, don't be hating. Come, Come on, let's go. On. One down. Check it out guys. That looks cool. Woo! Outstanding. All right, let's go ahead and do the other but, side. But those are my, my rims. Those are your rims, I agree, yes. 
But this is just temporary, guys. I'm trying to steal my rims. I'm there. trying. Let me flip this over so you can see my ugly face. What I'm trying to do is determine whether or not I want black rims or chrome rims. I got chrome rims in the garage, but those chrome rims are probably going on the LMM. I like. I like the. I don't know, I'm, I'm the black dark. and chrome, black. I like and, the black ones. Or even black with mill. That's so sweet. These are so dirty. Dude. All right. Hey, we'll clean it up after. Let's just get these on there. The cleaning part's the easy part. You want me to take it off? Yep. See, I don't drop it like you do, and let's knock the truck off on choice. It actually did. Let's didn't. tell them about that. No. Is there some red in there too? No. Yeah. Well, little speckles. It's a, uh, it's a blue mist tire. It looks pretty sweet. <laughs> See, you can do it without dropping it, Earl. Awkward. He's a strong man. It's not that heavy. <laughs> it's the technique, I guess. It's heavy to me. You got it on. Looks good. All right, let's get these caps. Let's get these lug nuts on and get these caps on. Those are my rims and tires still, by the way. Hey, Don't be trying rims. to steal them. Those are mine, but that looks nice. Oh, by the way, guys, it sounds really funny because I haven't installed this yet, which I plan on. I just have a downpipe hooked up to the turbo because we are putting two turbos, two Ryan's diesel service turbos in there, an S363 and an S480, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's get these Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors on. Get it done. Decided. Let's do this. No, it don't fit, of course. No, you got to disconnect this. <laughs> See? Boost Auto Parts is on it, man. They know what they're doing. I know, I'm just teasing. <laughs> we always run into problems. Got it. Oh, don't got it. Here. Pull. Pull. Keep going. All right. It's, that's all the way through. All right, we're done. Looking at it, stepping back. Ooh. Wow. What a difference those wheels and tires make. So, some of you guys that were doubting me about the chrome in the blue, and there's like, I know there's no other chrome on this truck, but it's kind of like, should I get chrome wheels or should I get black wheels or should I get black wheels with the milled accent like the Anthem? So, you guys can see we have the milled look, it's kind of a chrome. Um, sort of a bare metal look on the black. I think it looks pretty sharp. It really ties the building together. But again, these tires right here, these wheels, these are not keep. We're not keeping these on the Cummins. So no, those are mine. <laughs> kind of want to keep them. On. Looks nice on there though. I like it. Man, wow. These boost mirrors look really sharp. Come on over here to the other side. This looks amazing. Yeah, what a difference. Okay, guys, so we are doing a giveaway with this. Every $1 spent is... I'm just kidding. <laughs> joke, total joke. Now, this is Earl's truck. You guys are probably wondering what I'm doing with this truck. I'm keeping this truck, guys. I'm liking it. All right, time to raise... Wait, they haven't seen the back. Hold on, hold on. Let's get the, the back of it first. Oh, yeah, the taillights. So, so, as you guys can see, the roll pan. We installed a roll pan on it. I think it looks pretty sharp. 
I still need to put a hitch on it. This truck is still kind of put together with uh, toothpicks and uh, duct tape. Oh, zip ties. <laughs> zip ties. <laughs> so, but that's how to, that's how Earl rolls. But, you know, I didn't want to draw the build out. You know what I mean? Because yeah, everybody my videos, wants to see it. Yeah, I'm like the LBZ. How long did that take me? That thing took me like five years. You know, to and, finally get to that point. And that one's taking a while. Yeah, and this one even took a while. So I don't want to draw, draw the build out. I want to just show you guys. But I do plan on doing a review on the Pierce dump bed kit. The fill neck. Uh oh. Is it stuck in there? Yeah, I gotta. Basically, I gotta move the fill neck out of the way for it to go up. Love it, man. This is so cool. Watch the taillights fall out. <laughs> All right, so. See, there's the red frame with the blue. What do you think? It looks really good. I don't think it looks that, I don't I'm think it looks bad to, like we thought it was going to. We are going to have to clean the red frame, guys. It's very dirty from all the dust and everything uh -huh. when I was doing this. And of course, I had it all prepped. So all the plastic was right over it, but I do plan on say, how do I say it? I'm going to respray it red again and I'm going to clear coat over it again, just to make sure that I seal everything in. But once this red frame is nice and glossy, it's going to look really sharp. And what do you think, Melanie? You let me know because I'm, I'm in serious awe. This is the first truck I've ever built by myself. And I don't want to say by I myself. I think it turned out really good. Well, we well, well I, I can't give credit. Off. I can't give credit about just myself. I had a lot of people helping me in this project, but as far as assembling the truck, mm -hmm. putting it all together, yeah, it was pretty much all me. I think it turned out good. And even the paint job, like it's not like super professional or anything, but it looks really good for someone that's never painted a whole truck before. <laughs> yeah, if you guys see this in person, you're going to pick this paint apart. But, you know. I like the, I think I like it with the red frame. I thought it was gonna look kind of silly, but if we put some white in there somewhere, I think that will really tie it in too. Yeah, know? red, white, and blue. Like pop, should we pop the hood? The engine bay, it's still pretty dirty looking. Um, we are installing a black market performance kit, I believe it's called, a twin kit on this one right here. I'm just waiting for them to finish it. But once they get it in, that's when we're gonna be installing the turbos. Right. But everything that I'm doing basically on the top is gonna be removed and powder coated and then installed, so. This is so much easier to open than the oh i know it yeah we're going to be removing all these parts and like this stuff and everything we're going to really dress this engine bay up it's going to look amazing but oh, stand back here it actually looks you got some red and blue in there oh i see what you're saying <laughs> that look cool oh yes you see the frame you yeah you can see the frame in the okay. background yep yeah. this is sweet um, but the Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors, as well as the fourth gen bumper, I think really set it off. I ordered these custom. I actually called their sales department and asked them if they can get me chrome caps. And they also have the tinted lenses. And I'm not sure if they have the defrost. I don't, yep, they do. They have the defrost right in the mirrors. So I have to wire all that. That's going to be a separate video. But yeah, huge shout out to those guys for coming through with the mirrors because it really ties it in. Also, underneath here, I left it primer gray. And you can tell I got overspray inside of it. No big deal. I'm thinking about doing something on the underside of this. Zip ties will break if I shut this. <laughs> if it does, it'll be funny. Do it. Oh my gosh, it won't. Oh, you slammed it. it. Those are some strong zip ties. Dude, this looks sweet. You're giving people ideas with that zip tie. Oh, you got to flip up the mirrors. It's a dodge. Oh, yeah. Oh, you almost knocked yourself out. Guys, let me know in the comments if you roll with your tow mirrors up. Trying to do an outro and the truck's dead. <laughs> it's from it's from raising and lowering that bed. Yeah. Constantly when I was painting it. So yeah. She done. And this thing's probably dead too. SP tools jump pack. 33%. Don't let me down, please. I don't know if this thing will start. Oh, well, I hope so. Might have to get the Duramax. Come on!
That's the video. Bittersweet. This took me a very long time to do. Still some things to do. But. Still a lot of things <laughs> to do. And um, like I know, like I said, it's not perfect. It may look good on video, but if you see it in person, it, it still looks pretty good, though. But there's a lot of little things that some of you body guys and some of you perfectionists can freak out on um, if you saw it. But at the end of the day, it is dumping wood. So, you know, I guess, and I've spent way too much time trying to get her straight and I just, I'm not gonna say I failed, but what I mean by that is the waviness of the bed. It's just impossible. You'd have to glaze the entire bed over. I'm not doing that, man. So I, that's where it's at. <laughs> well, at least you can say you tried, right? <laughs> I did my best. I tried a lot of times. I think you've bondoed and repainted and she knows bondoed and repainted like three four times or five. I don't know oh, that yeah I think three times yeah three, three times three over times? I kept shaving the bondo off and then redoing it and shaving it off and it felt like forever I'm just like I'm done man but it is what it is <laughs> you're like I'll never be posting any videos if I just keep at it <laughs> <laughs> I know it was, what is, it was like a week and a half yeah I think that was the last time I posted a video so but hey guys, I do appreciate you guys watching as always. And again, I'm going to be announcing the winner for the SP Tools Toolbox giveaway. I appreciate everybody giving for that because we are gonna be giving a portion of the proceeds to the DAV and huge shout out to the DAV as well for taking care of us veterans, man, and disabled veterans across the US. So let me know in the comments what you think about the color. A lot of people said gray. I went blue with a red frame and it clashes. Does it clash? Also, let me know about that. We have a lot in store for this Dodge, but once I'm done buttoning her up, uh, she's coming out of the garage, and I'm going to be focusing on the Chevy, the Silverado, the LMM. I'm going to be pulling the cab on it. And um, the wife, Max. Oh, yes. <laughs> Don't forget about Don't the Don't forget wife. about the wife, Max, after I blew up her transmission. <laughs> yeah, lots of things to focus on. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> So, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Give me a like if you enjoyed the content. Make sure you guys subscribe if you want to continue to watch my journey as we continue to build these awesome trucks and maybe learn something. But that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned.